just out for what I hope is the final store run before Christmas. We needed a few more groceries to be ready for both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and I think that's it, so thank goodness. There's also a young guy kind of off to my right who's probably staring at me while I'm talking right now, so I don't think I'm going to give him too much to entertain him. I think this will be enough excitement for one day. Talk to you later. Bye. Happy Christmas, Adam! Because you know, Adam comes right before Eve. So, today is Christmas Adam, December 23rd. How's your day been? Did you get everything done you needed to do? I made one last run to the grocery store. I did a real quick video in the parking lot at the grocery store earlier. We went to church this morning. Well, some of us did. Two were not feeling well, so three of us went. And I ended up having to play for the service this morning. Our pianist was out. She had, they had let me know yesterday she might not be there and then I got a message from her this morning saying no, I really don't feel like being there. So um, I'm hoping that she'll be well enough to come back soon, but it was nice to be able to, to play and to fill in. So then the two children that went with me and I went out for lunch and then came home and then almost immediately I headed out to the grocery store or got myself organized to go to the grocery store anyway. As I went in, I'll pop in a picture either here or at the end. There's a display as soon as you go in of little little Debbie snack cakes. I don't know if you're, it's just a little prepackaged pastry kind of thing, but it's the Valentine display. Can we please get through Christmas before we start on Valentine's Day? I mean, I realize it's less than two months away. It's coming up. But these are snacks that are not going to last until Valentine's Day, let's be real. So I think they could have held off a little bit. I am sipping out of my Christmas Story cup today. And I think it says you'll shoot your eye out. Yeah, you'll shoot your eye out. That maybe cracks me up. I really relate to the mom. I will tell you right now, my husband is in the other room and he's going to be making faces at me because he did it a little while ago. And I hope he's aware that I can switch this camera around quick and get pictures of him too. And don't think I won't. So, now that I have only 24-ish hours to do anything else, I am going to show you, I think I'm at the same place that I was on this yesterday. I don't think I made any progress at all. The Pure Imagination Cowl. I don't have anything new on that, but I want to open a couple more just in case I don't get a chance to record tomorrow. We'll see. So let's see what's in this one. These will be the ones that, that go on tonight, tomorrow, whenever I get a few minutes. Oh my goodness, look at that color. And I'm wearing contacts today, which means readers are necessary. Mint Rain, Mint Rain hand dyed yarns. to like the one spot in my house that's relatively quiet and not terribly cluttered. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that gorgeous color. Blues and oranges. And, ooh, that looks promising. A red velvet herbal tea. That sounds luscious. And here's another one, Sheepy Fibers. It's Happy Holidays. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Oh, a treat in this one, too. Ooh, lots of treats. Look at that. Okay. Oh, wow. First things first, gorgeous blues and grays. Maybe the colorway is Happy Holidays. She, 25, 75, 25, Superwash, Merino. I, well, it says Superwash. I'm assuming Merino. And Nylon. So that's this. And Green Tea. Plus Hershey's Kisses and Snickers. I love Snickers.
save the best for last inadvertently. I'm not quite done yet. I got a few more of these too. So, what I have worked on these off for a minute, is my advent wrap. By the way, I'm wearing my spindrift that I finished in time for Christmas parties. It's in Madeline Tosh in the Tarte colorway. Alright, I added a little bit more to the advent wrap last night. Start, I think I said I'm gonna start adding in any extras if I have enough I'm gonna start adding in what's left from the pure imagination cowl and otherwise I'll pull out stuff from somewhere else well I had a little bit of time when I was out shopping yesterday if you looked at the video you saw that I had the copy of Vogue Knitting Live at lunch or Vogue Knitting Live that's the gathering in the winter Vogue Knitting Magazine and it was it was kind of nice just have lunch and read an article. I haven't read this one yet, but this is called Comes the Revolution, and it looks to be an article about fiber arts as an act of rebellion. And the thing that I did read a little bit when I had time is an article on brioche. I think, I don't think that's it. I think it was over here. Yeah, talking a little bit about So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here about brioche. So if you are interested in that, the, this probably won't actually be out that much longer because it's holiday 2018. But if you can find a copy of this, this has um, not only an article about brioche, but I think there's some patterns in there. Again, readers are necessary today. Yeah, there's a cardigan. Brioche rib cardigan, which is a different one. Brioche striped pullover. Um, two color brioche shawl. Lots of brioche patterns in here. Two color brioche raglan pullover. So tons of brioche in here if you're interested in that. And I am. That may be something that I work on this year. I'm interested in it, but I just haven't made the time to learn. Well, I am going to let you go for now. And hopefully I'll get a chance to pop in a sh at least a short video tomorrow and maybe some pictures of our adventures. Tomorrow for lunch, we're going to my cousin's house, which is really nice. We don't see the majority of these cousins during the year, but we do get to see them usually for Christmas. So I'm looking forward to that. And, and excuse me, and then tomorrow night, it'll just be our family here, as far as I know, for dinner. And I'm going to pull out the good china and crystal, and we're going to have taco salad. That'll be really fun for Christmas Eve. Then Christmas Eve night, we each open a gift, which is new Christmas pajamas, as well as an ornament. So that'll be our gifts for Christmas Eve night. And then of course, Christmas Day, I anticipate being up fairly early. Even though my children are older, they still tend to get up early on Christmas. So I think that day is gonna get an early start. Otherwise, we're just gonna be home. Well, take care everybody. I hope that your Christmas season is full of love and family and friends and, and people who are special to you. Take care. Talk to you soon. Merry Christmas. Go ahead. Go ahead what? Go ahead. Make fun of me. Give me a hard time. Go ahead. I'm not making fun of you. I'm, I'm going to keep a camera on you all the time and then you'll behave yourself. I see how this works. What are you talking about? How did that pick on you? Making faces at me and hiding around the corner. Only 
like made faces at you before you did your thing. But you thought it was on. Hmm? And that was being quiet. Didn't say anything. What you can't see is me behind the camera rolling my eyes. I saw my brain roll my eyes.